Let's get dressed for the day. I've been loving like this new oversized lemon cardigan. Okay, I want to smell good today. Let's put a little bit of this on. Yes, I haven't even done my hair. Don't care. What's up, baby? It's a work day. All right, it's Friday. It's a work day. Although it's going to be, I was gonna say, I don't think it's gonna be a busy day, but then right when I said that, I forgot that there was something major that I had to do. I guess I'll just do my hair later, but I think it's fine for now. So I do have a meeting in like 15 minutes. Otherwise there is like an emergency that I'm helping out with, but there's nothing much that I can do now. It's on like the engineers to do some stuff. So we'll probably get to a bunch later today, but I'm hoping that the afternoon is gonna be like easy breezy, maybe even like log out early, just because this week has been so hectic and I've been working so much that I wanna try to just like log off early today. I still have been loving these like mood sort of setting lights. What do you need, baby? It's so bad. She has learned that if she whines, she gets attention. <laughs> baby, you're fine. You have two toys right next to you. We got this mood lighting. It just makes all the difference in the world when I'm here like working all day long. I have it automatically set up to turn on at like 9.30 a.m. Are you bumping into the tripod? <laughs> Oh, it's just so good. So I still have this light over here and both of this light over here. So behind the chairs and then behind the mirror. Oh, so good. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna get coffee, do some work here. And I'll see what we do today. Cause honestly, don't have a ton of like plans and expectations. I kind of just like picked up the camera and I was like, okay, today's gonna be a vlog day, but I don't know what we're gonna get up to. So we'll find out together. <laughs> oh my God, there is something today. I almost forgot. I ordered the new iPhone and it's supposed to be delivered today. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. We can do a little unboxing. Well, that's gonna be probably a lot later. It's out for delivery, but it says between 1.30 and 5.30. sitting on the floor action. So we have someone coming over to the house to clean the house today, which <laughs> a couple of things. One, I'm really excited because it's a Friday. So it's like, we're going into the weekend with like a clean house. So nice. We've been trying to regularly have someone come over like every three weeks to clean, which just really helps the both of us just given like how much is on our plate. So very, very happy and grateful for that. But secondly, to the point of like cleaning up, who else does that? It's not like I'm going around and like cleaning before cleaning people come, you know, but I just like want to pick up all of like the clutter that's like on the desk or like clothes that are laying around so that way it's just like not in their way to like vacuum and do what they need to do you know i am cleaning up my office right now and just like putting things up in the closet putting things away all of like that sort of stuff but i have a huge pile of things from lululemon so i have another lululemon haul for you guys in my like last vlog that i posted for you i gave you guys some fall outfit inspiration so if you want some more inspiration and like actual styled outfits go over and watch that vlog if you haven't already this is just like a good old a good old haul so this is all like brand new releases brand new launches new colors new styles new things so exciting i have been really into this new colorway which is called jade gray it kind of like reminds me of a very light seafoam green ish kind of color and so some of the things that i got this color in i got a couple pieces in the wonder most collection which is like their ultra soft version of nulu so think of a lines but like so much softer and it has like a little peach foam to it very 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 comfy so I just got the regular t-shirt style you can see it's very form-fitting I got it in a size extra small it's like a little bit stretchy but this one it's long so it's meant to be tuckable I don't know if I would necessarily wear it how I styled it I just wanted to keep like things together in this haul but it's very tuckable shirt just like given the length otherwise like what I typically like to do with this because it kind of hits in a weird spot for me and you can see that I was like trying to tuck it under is that I would just go to Lululemon and get this cropped for free using like their hemming service so something to think about but very soft it's like double lined i love it i also probably would wear a different bra with it one that is more seamless 
And then I got the bodysuit in it as well. Love this. This one's a really good staple. The ratio between like the space allowed for your torso, it is kind of like short. So if you have a longer torso, I'd recommend sizing up in it. It does have like some stretch, but it might get like kind of tight. So just like an FYI there. But these are great because they have like snap closures, which I just think is like a must in bodysuits. And I love the square neckline with thicker straps. It's very, very flattering. I'm wondering if Lululemon just was running late on these shorts and like launching them for summer because I think it's kind of funny that we're launching some new shorts for like the fall time but these are cute and I needed to get them and try them out they are the split hem high rise run short it is a very like weightless material very lightweight great for like runners has a little bit of a split on the side has a liner built in love the waistband on it and I just love the color these are great like multi-purpose short honestly as well it's a three inch inseam and like I said they're high rise too I really like the way that these fit and they do run true to size I got them in a size two and then I finally got like the flared ribbed soft stream pants to try out this has been around for a minute but I have yet to try them this is in the regular inseam so right off the bat you'll see that they are very long for me again I'm 5'1 so they will absolutely need it to be taken in to get altered but they are a very like form-fitting flare pant they're kind of like leggings but just like in a thicker material and they're very soft I'm pleasantly surprised by this like it fits very very well throughout the waist, the hips, like everything while still being extremely comfortable. And I just went with my legging size in this, which is a size two. So dang it, I really like these. Okay, so it says it has a 33 inch inseam, but surprisingly, even for how long they are, it flares at a good spot. So might need to get these in more colors. This is a pair of pants that I've been wanting to try out for a minute as well. This is the City Sleek Barrel Leg Pants. I was originally gonna get these in bone, but then they came out with this new tan color. And I was like, all right, let's give these ones a go instead. They are made out of like this cotton blend material. They're very like lightweight. They're kind of like stretchy as well. I was in love with these, I gotta be honest. A few things that stood out that I didn't love. One is the length. Yes, they are long. Maybe I can get them hemmed. I just kind of like, roll them up and I think that looks just fine and honestly the overall fit is fine as well like it's a looser fit but I hate the zipper on this and I hate the buff pockets as well like this little itty bitty zipper for being like more of like a mid-rise pants it has like all of this gaping underneath to get to like the crotch I hate when jeans are like that and then the butt pockets on these are so tiny as well I just would like them to be a little bit bigger and like more proportionate yeah so anyway I went with a size 24 in them. I like that size on me, so I guess it runs true to size. But yeah, these pants are not the ones for me, but had to share them with you in case you guys had your eye on them as well. A pant that I am absolutely in love with are these new soft stream pants. They are the pin tuck pants. Ooh, these are good. So think of like the normal classic soft stream pants, the one with like the cinchable waist, comfy, great, classic. These are just like that, but like a little bit more elevated given that it doesn't have like a jawstring cinching ability at the waist. It has a smooth band that goes around and it has kind of like a trouser look to it because of the butt pockets on it. Oh, so good. And then like the pin tuck detailing going down the leg of them too. You guys here, you can kind of see it in the sun. These are gorgeous. These are in black. I ended up going back and getting them in that like new tan color. I kind of also want to get them in bone as well. They didn't have different inseam lengths so this one is also long on me and it sits just like more mid-rise and just like looks really flattering around the waist and like the rest of the leg i am here for these 100 percent. i also thought that this top was like really cute it kind of just takes a normal basic t-shirt but adds this little twist detail to it thinking that this would be a really nice thing to like kind of dress up to just elevating a very basic plain t-shirt right so it's the asymmetrical front twist t-shirt what was the size extra small in it it is kind of see-through but i love the length of it i love the fit of it it is like a cotton and it's really stretchy i love this and then they finally started releasing like sweaters and cardigans and stuff this one namely one of them right but a couple others first is this like ultra cropped cardigan here it's ribbed it's very lightweight it has these three buttons down the front and a v neckline as well this one i'm not convinced i don't necessarily love it you can see that when i tried it on i wore like a skin color bralette underneath you can see it through the gaps in between the buttons so i'm trying to decide like how to wear this i might need to just wear like a black bralette underneath it wear just like a full length tank top 
and have this be like more of an open cardigan. I don't know. So I'm not necessarily in love with it because there was another cardigan that they launched that I am way more in love with. It is this one. Such like a cozy knit. This is like an alpaca blend cardigan and that material that Lululemon has, it sometimes can be like pretty itchy. This one isn't as itchy as some of the ones that I've felt in the past that also had that same blend, but it is still a little itchy. So I would maybe wear some sort of like t-shirt underneath to just kind of like protect some of your skin if you are sensitive like me to like materials like this. But I love this that I'm absolutely going to be keeping it. I love just like semi cropped fit of it. It's a little bit boxy. I love that you can wear it as a sweater just completely buttoned up on its own or with it being an open cardigan and as like a layering piece. So cute. So got it in a size extra small in black. And then also in this really pretty heathered color as well. I'm trying to see if I can justify keeping both. Otherwise I'm gonna pick one and it might be the black. And then lastly, Lululemon also released that same cardigan just in a crew neck sweater version as well. This one's also a little bit cropped, extremely warm and it's more of like a, a mid-weight. It's not heavy, it's not light. So great like for an everyday sweater. These are gonna be perfect to wear in the office and very, very versatile. These are so cute. I also got these in a size extra small. Okay, now I need to put all of like that stuff away, hang some of the stuff in my closet, finish wrapping up for the cleaning folks, but all of that stuff will of course be linked down in the description for you. It's Friday. I'm so hungry. Heading to Chipotle to grab some lunch really quickly. Both Juan and I. Cleaning people are still not there. Should have been there. 15 minutes ago. So they'll be there for sure when I get back. I'm so hungry that it's like the only thing I think about. Like my stomach is growling at me. It's not even that late either. It's 12.42. Let's go get my delicious burrito bowl, my chips, so that I can dip. Maybe even have a Diet Coke. Go a little crazy on this Friday. <laughs> I just realized that my outfit is just like so fall. <laughs> Like, I busted out my Uggs, I'm wearing them, and I'm wearing some like tall socks to go over the leggings. Well, this is technically like a one piece, a onesie, and then I have this huge oversized cardigan on. Complete fall vibes. I am actually here for it. If you would have asked me a couple weeks ago if I was like looking forward to fall, I'm like, no. But now I'm getting into like the cozy vibes now. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to like restarting Gilmore Girls. I have to do that. Halloween and like watching some scary movies, having the fireplace on. Oh, just so much that I'm looking forward to. People are a little pushy today. Got the goods. Enjoying sitting at my desk. It's great. It's not as good as mine. What? How dare you? This office is the best. Do you love all the lighting? No comment? Rude? What lighting? Oh, that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, just in the lighting behind you, the lighting on the desk. Mm -hmm. Hello. Do you notice my snacks on the desk? <laughs> no, the non-spicy ones. Those are so good. What is your secret stash? Because I want something sweet. I don't have a stash in here. Do you have a stash? No, there's no sweets in this room. What? <laughs> if you check my nightstand, that might be a different option. <laughs> On the other room. <laughs> <laughs> We've been um, kicked out of downstairs. They're officially moved to downstairs to clean the vacuuming and everything. So Juan is up in my office and I'm already here because somehow he took over my desk. <laughs> Just a working away. Babe, how was the Chipotle for you? Oof, it was too much. It's always too much, no? Babe, but... the, the bags were so heavy. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, when I picked it up, I couldn't believe it. How much does he good? When we know you. I'm working late, cause I'm a singer. Maybe you don't have a seat? You don't have a chair? To lay down? Guess what? Don't you dare move any of that. She can lay on the floor like a dog. She needs. No. She needs. No. A place. No. These are clean of dog hair, cat hair. Let's leave it like that for at least a day. Stop being annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you out of my office. It's my office. 
you wish. Does it really fit your aesthetic? Yes, it's here. While I was sitting here and working, UPS delivered the new phone. Oh my god, UPS. I'm so excited. So my current phone is the iPhone 14 Pro. I typically wait like every two years to get a new phone. I didn't get the 15. So here we are with the 16. And the way that I justify this is that I need it for like my business. I take tons of pictures, tons of videos, lots of my vlogs. I use my phone to record as well. So I loved like the updates with the camera. I also needed more storage. So I got the one that has a terabyte of storage. Also my current one is the black iPhone and I wanted something new so I didn't go with black this round make some space I have my work laptop right here I'm waiting on a few things from folks so let's multitask here Ta -da! I got the white one babe oh it arrived yeah have you not been listening to me the whole time no. I'm sitting here look at it the white titanium it looks really nice it kind of like is a little bit like reflective it has some like silver to it wait this is pretty and it has like the new button on the side that's for taking pictures i don't know it's gonna be fun to play around with it get it all set up oh gosh what do i gotta do it's been a couple of years i need to back up my phone oh my god this is gonna take like a couple hours so yay we're gonna sit here and do this whole transfer bit. <laughs> She's a cutie. The bezel around the edges, babe, it's yeah. so sleek. Wait, I'm really happy that they've made setup just like so much easier. <laughs> 16 hours, this is not a good sign. <laughs> I got this case though, I thought that going like this green might be cute. I also got like this dark gray as well. Just off of Amazon, it's the same brand of case set that's on this phone actually. I really hope that it doesn't take 16 hours. <laughs> it's insane. It is that time. It is that time for a matcha. <sighs> Finally. So much for um, trying to stop working early. <laughs> it's almost five o'clock right now and I finally got everything wrapped up. What I was, I was waiting for, two other teams, and, but we got there, you know? We're good now. So, officially able to log off for the day, and I am so excited for my favorite time of the day. You guys, this has been like routine for me every single day for a very long time now. Right after work, we're having a matcha and we're reading. We're reading for a couple of hours. <laughs> this is just like, such a happy place for me like that little area over there oh it's so good okay so matcha time i got my milk with cinnamon and honey in it froth it all up and put some ice in it so now we just need to make the matcha part of it for my matcha latte here so i have been actually using and loving this new matcha that i got i got it locally from wajamaya if you guys live around the area wajamaya is just like an Asian grocery store and supermarket. It's phenomenal. Babe, we should go to Wajamaya this weekend. No? We can get some more Japanese bread so we can make like egg salad sandwiches. We can get, what else? We can get, oh, babe, I, ooh, I want poke. Does that sound good? Or just like buying the tuna to take home. Yeah. And then the desserts. Do you want like that cake thing again? That was so good. It's a thing, it's happening. So anyways, this one's pretty good. Um, I also got one other. Where did I put it? I got this one from there as well. This one's good. I think I like this one a little bit more, but I've only had it once, so I should actually just keep it out to give it another go. I don't want to do it right now. I want to do this one, but later, later. Let's actually run through my matchas because I don't have that many right now, <laughs> but this might be helpful for you guys. So this one, maybe even try like Amazon. I'm sure it's there as well, but I just got it locally. The other one that I just showed you, there's this one that I got in Hawaii at like that matcha cafe. So it might be a collaboration with Cafe Maiko. Maiko. I haven't tried to find it online yet. This one's really good as well. And then like my old faithful <laughs> is the Chamberlain Coffee Matcha. I get this one off of Amazon. Phenomenal, phenomenal matcha. I also um, finished up the Nekahama one, which was 
one of the most expensive launches that I ever have gotten. That one is phenomenal. I just haven't gone around to like repurchasing it because I have so many of these other matchas that I want to get through first. But it's been fun to kind of like find like new matchas. It's kind of like turning into my tequila collection over here. Instead of alcohol, it's like a matcha collection. It's kind of funny. Okay, let's go ahead and pour this in. Most important thing, you guys, like look how green this is. You need it to be bright green. And also, ceremonial grade that's the best type of matcha like grade of matcha and also always look for matchas that are made in japan the kyoto region makes the best ones and then a little tip i always sift it out to make sure that there's no like lumps or anything like that make it so it's not grainy when you drink it nice and smooth and i do it's old school, the traditional way. So I take the Japanese whisk to mix it together. Some people use like frothers like this to do it, but with this sort of a bowl, it creates a little bit of a mess. And this is like a traditional matcha bowl. So start to blend it, kind of zigzag motions, don't do circles. Until it's nice and blended. And it looks something like this. Let's pour it in. My hair is being a little crazy. To be honest, I really haven't even brushed it today. I just kind of like put it up and put it out of the way. Let's taste our matcha. Yes. Mm-hmm. This one's like very bold in flavor. It's really nice. Hmm. All right, I need to get set up to read here. Light my essence, get like the mood all set. I feel like my vlogs are becoming like really boring and like repetitive because I do like the same thing. And I've actually got a lot of my vlogs like that I'm at home. It's a lot of reading, guys, you know? So hopefully it's not boring. So the book that I'm reading right now, I'm actually reading it on my iPad. I've been really loving the Kindle app on my iPad, specifically over like the Kindle device, because when you highlight, it's like in color. It's also like a bigger screen. I don't know. I like the vibe a whole lot more. So I've been doing this a lot because the book that I'm reading is on like Kindle Unlimited. And if you have a subscription with Kindle Unlimited, then any Kindle Unlimited books are free to download. And I'm reading Zodiac Academy and it's on Kindle Unlimited. So I have been reading that, but I also just got in the mail like the physical books too, all of them, all over here in my bookcase as well. So I'm currently on the third book. One, two, three. Yeah, The Reckoning. I had to see because there was the first book. If you're not familiar with it, there's like the main book, but then there is like the first book again, told from the point of view of like the boys instead of the two girls. So it's just like identical. Um, but I read those two, I read the second and now like this is the third. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is like, holy shit. I think it's like my favorite series it is so good i am so wrapped in it i am having a hard time like wanting to do anything else like i'm constantly wanting to read this series i have gone through it so fast like these three and a half books i think it's been less than a week like it's a problem like i'm staying up until like 2 a.m reading i am trying to read majority of the day like if i'm waiting on something at work i'm like okay just pull up the kindle app on my phone and like read a couple of pages like it's kind of a problem <laughs> So anyways, I highly recommend this series if you guys have never read it before, but it's like a massive series. There's like 10, 12 books in it, which I'm excited about. Like I didn't know I was in the mood for another series. And I was like, okay, let's just start it, see what it's all about. And I'm just like completely hooked to it. So I'm really happy that it's a really long series. But with that being said, it's like quite a commitment, you know? I'm gonna have to take a break from it and read our book club book, Heartless Hunter, which you guys have already started, some of you have, and you guys are just like, oh my God, it's so good. So I just need to get to a point that I need to take a break from this series in order to read that book. But we still have a little bit of time until the end of the month and I want it to be fresh in my mind for our conversations. So that's why I haven't started it yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and get wrapped up in this. The third book is called The Reckoning. This one might be my favorite one out of all of it. Like I've already reread a couple of chapters a couple of times, you guys have a problem. Okay. 
What I wanted to add to before we get everything set up here is that I've like I've expanded my like reading setup over here. It's getting it's getting advanced and I think that you guys would appreciate it. So because I've been reading with my iPad, this also works for Kindle as well, just any sort of digital device. I have like an actual stand now. <laughs> so I literally put my iPad on this and where is it? I caved and got the clicker as well. So it automatically turns the page once you click it. So it's like completely hands-free, which is kind of nice, especially like if I'm eating a snack, if I'm drinking my matcha, like I don't have to hold on to literally anything. It is a complete game changer. I'm obsessed. I have to share it with you guys. And I love the products that I chose. Like I love the white of this and I love the white and metal on this one. It really um, goes with my aesthetic, <laughs> but that's not it. I have other things in the works because I've been reading so much with my iPad. I want to get like blue light blocking glasses and like all this other stuff. So stay tuned because we're going to go a little bit more crazy because, you know, when I get really into something and get really obsessed, I just like go all in and go all crazy. Who can relate? <laughs> one chapter immediately wanting to know what happens next so then you just start reading the next chapter but then it's like a cycle you know oh i love when books are just so good i also finally changed into some comfy clothes let's see what we get into tonight we started the disney plus show agatha it's like a part of like the marvel world but then i also saw that challengers movie is available on prime video the one with zendaya and we haven't seen it yet so one of those. We'll see. Right now, because I'm so hooked on my book, I don't really want to commit to anything like long because I really just want to go back to reading. <laughs> I'm having a thing for mac and cheese lately. We had mac and cheese like four days ago and I was like, you know what? I want them again. I really like this brand specifically, but like when I went to the grocery store to get mac and cheese, I ended up picking up a few additional brands just to like try some like new ones out because I feel like I just want to find like the best mac and cheese, like box mac and cheese. So if you have a favorite, let me know. I'll let a girl know. What's up, baby? I remember when I held you in one arm. singing my song! Oh my god! <laughs> Just... <laughs> Weirdo. Let's get the butter in it. Start melting. Maybe I don't have anything. That was dad that had the cheese. Voodoo Ranger Juice Force IPA. Is it good? I love it. So good. It's actually good. I really like it. 
five. Oh wow. I That's it. That. Very alcoholic IPA. It's pretty good. There's a little bit in it still. So. Because it's not like a powerful IPA. Like the, you know, like the bitterness afterwards? Like that juiciness tones it down. So it's not aggressive. She's being so patient thinking that she's gonna get something. She's like eating mac and cheese. Are you wanting to watch Agatha? Yes. Can you get me two bowls, please? A little bit of papa. <laughs> Charging off to find a hero yet again. Well, he left a Titan. Oh no, Bliss. Yeah, Levon. Levon. French for Levon. Yep. This is absolutely insane. This is terrible. Well, we've been at it for like seven hours and it started with saying it was 16 hours. <laughs> Something's off. Only four hours is kind of down, but it's been like seven hours since I started this. <laughs> I've been without a phone for seven hours. <laughs> this is absolutely stupid. Right, time to go brush my teeth. Wash my face. Get ready for bed, baby. Are you ready for bed? Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. I'm going to be vlogging this weekend as well. So definitely expect another vlog from me in the next couple of days. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Let's go.